I bet if you've clicked on this video, you struggle when it comes to choosing the right exercises or the correct combination of exercises for back training. After all, you cannot see the back when you're training it. You have to crane and strain your neck to look at it in the mirror momentarily. It's not like biceps, which you can see 24 seven. So the back, it's a very challenging muscle group to train. It is, however, my favorite muscle part to train. The exercise here is the Pendlay Row. And if it's the only exercise that I could ever do for back, this would be the one. It is just like a normal bent over row. And here I'm actually warming up very light doing a bent over row. But with the 60 kilos here, I show you the Pendlay Row. You set up just like you would in a normal bent over row. Okay, a shoulder width grip. and slightly wider if you want the rear deltoids to be activated. However, you reset at the bottom. This will allow you to do one or two things. Keep your form very strict, as well as increase the amount of weight you can pull. And when you can pull more weight and activate muscles under more resistance, that will ultimately build more strength and therefore, as a byproduct, build hypertrophy and muscle. The aim with this exercise is to go to between five to 10 reps for three to four sets. That's if you're a standard weightlifter. I like doing this exercise with high volume using this as one of only three exercises in the entire back workout because it is so effective and efficient at building muscle and strength. It complements the deadlift and the deadlift is one of the three main compound lifts as well as one of my most favorable lifts. And if I can improve it, put extra poundage to my deadlift and more endurance and better form, then this is the exercise that I want to do. As you can see, a very powerful movement. I think my one rep max is around 130 with this. But the form here in this video, I show you my best form. Very nice parallel back to the ground, pulling all the way above my sternum to the chest. This will get you the most mid back to upper back development. But if you want to go heavier and pull even more weight, do not be afraid of standing up a slightly more with less of a of a of that bent over row position. You can do this underhand as well. Now, an extra uh, gift to you is a second exercise, which is the Zercher squat, and this is a a leg dominant exercise as well as a very heavy exercise on the mid and upper back. It's just like a front squat, however, unlike the bar being in that loaded position on the shoulders, it forces you, this one forces you over, so you have to pull back on that and it builds up the muscles and density in the back. I actually get injured in this video, so it's a great advertisement for the, the uh, exercise. So it's not a very beginner friendly exercise. However, I put this, I have a big towel or this big squat pad over the bar to help aid with the forearm because this is very um, aggressive on the forearm. And as it's that big and uh, beefy, I end up using the biceps and you should never activate the biceps in this exercise and I end up pulling the biceps. So this would have been another in the trenches video. However, it was cut short by the bicep injury and it still to this day uh, is, is injured. But these are the best exercises for building strength and muscle in the back. And it gives you a tremendous pump, the Pendlay Row and the Zercher Squat. Leave a like, comment down in the comment box and subscribe for the next video.